So the African Wildlife Conservation Fund was established in 2005, um, primarily with a focus on conservation of the endangered African wild dogs. Okay, there they are on the day. mission of the Wildlife Conservation Fund to be a lot broader, working with communities and working at landscape scale and looking at conservation of the ecosystem as a whole. So we tend to use the wild dogs as a flagship species, an umbrella species to um, try and preserve landscapes and habitats and other species as well. So one of the student projects about a food chain, which is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> A lot of things we've benefited from the trust and from our partners. We can measure exam results, their understanding, knowledge, even attitudes towards conservation or wild dogs or other things, but it's hard to know whether that would eventually translate into behavioural change. A couple of years ago, where there were three African wild dog puppies drowning in an irrigation canal, and there were two kids that were walking home from school and they saw the wild dog puppies and they saw the rest of the pack around and they ran back to school and called some teachers who came and pulled the puppies out and rescued them. Um, and we found out about this a little bit later and we went down and asked them why they'd done that. They said we knew what they were and they pointed to the poster of this wild dog up on the wall so they knew what they were. They said and, and we knew they weren't dangerous to people. We knew they were important and endangered and we needed to protect them and help them. And it was just this overwhelming moment for us. We were like there it is. It, it has to make a difference and there was some real tangible behavioural change with these kids and the teachers and so directly correlated with AWCF's programmes. I've always been very passionate about animals so I don't like to see um, any animals that are suffering you know and, and any cruelty to that degree and you do get attached and you, you've watched these animals from when they are born to when they you know die from a while or get attacked by a lion or die from old age so I think it just makes the work even more fulfilling because you've got to actually care about what you are doing. And You know, a good moment when our scouts just, you just see them finding pure joy in what they're doing, or our education officers being so passionate about what they're doing. You know, there's always just moments of, wow, this is, you know, this is all worth it. Like all species, you know, there's been a lot of habitat loss, a lot of fragmentation. So even where there is still habitat, wild dogs need huge areas. If there's a lot of fragmentation and limited connectivity through it because of an increasing human population, then the species isn't going to persist in those areas. So big landscapes are getting very, very um, scarce now. But without a doubt, what we do is making a difference.